so anybody who's read Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Days will know that there isn't a balloon journey in the show, but um, there famously is in the David Niven 1950s movie. Um, and uh, as part of our show, we do refer to and, and uh, use the, uh, the balloon as part of the story. Um, and one of the things we, one of the ways we do that is to use a shift of scale in the show. And if anyone's seen any of our other shows, and it's been the same in, the, in quite a few other performances, we've looked for a moment where you change the scale from the, the live, real human scale into a sort of animated scale. And uh, one of the things that's interesting about doing that is so when you have an object like this, you're asking the audience to imagine uh, what to, to, in a way, by reducing the scale of what you do, you create a much bigger space which the audience need to fill up with their imagination and one of the reasons I think why people are sometimes delighted or excited about that is because they uh, is because it uh, investing in this uh, as, as, a, as a as a toy or as a, as a, as a sort of a, as a puppet or a, an object that's manipulated in the show is is parallel or very very similar to the way that children play and the way that children invest in a in an object trans transforming or transforming it or or projecting onto it. So one of the reasons why this works so nicely in the show is because having gone from a very large scale, from, from the normal human scale, we go to a very small or a, even a tiny scale with tiny little figures that fit into the basket. And what we're doing by doing that is inviting the audience to play with us or to imagine with us that, that, they're, uh, that, that this is real and big and so on. And by doing that, you're able to sort of uh, invest in a kind of emotional uh, or give this an emotional life which is a simple sort of object hanging there it doesn't have. Um, and I guess that that's a, a little technique or a little uh, a way of thinking that we've used in quite a few projects. And one of the moments in Around the 180 Days that really sort of um, audience are often really delighted by or refer to afterwards and say, oh, no, that was a wonderful moment when, when we shift into this kind of miniature scale and the balloon flies, flies away out of the uh, frozen American prairie.